Greetings everyone. This is Don from DonWebSolutions.com. I appreciate you guys visiting my YouTube channel or my website. Uh, and in today's tutorial, we'll be discussing uh, an important topic in Magento, and that would be how to add categories and subcategories to your web store. So uh, we're going to get started. One of the first things you have to do in order for you to go through with this is you have to be logged into your dashboard. So to give you an understanding of what categories and subcategories are, uh, if you do have a web store, uh, let's say you have an electronic store, for example, and you want to sell products, uh, the categories would be equivalent to whether you are selling TVs or whether you are selling phones, because these are general topics. And under these general topics, you're going to have different subcategories. So the TVs might branch into uh, the different kinds of TVs or the different uh, displays of TVs where the phones might uh, break down into whether you are selling smartphones or regular phones, so on and so forth. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to add categories and subcategories to your store so that you can link the products you're adding into your web store into these categories. I'm going to be working on a test magento store uh, so this is the test store i'm going to be working with so like i said the first thing you have to do is you have to be logged into your dashboard and once you're logged into your dashboard you're going to navigate to catalog on the top menu and then click manage categories now this is where you would add the categories on the left hand side you would see all the categories listed and on the right hand side is where you actually uh, choose and build new categories to your system. Now you have two options. One option being add root category and the other category being uh, other option being add subcategory. Now root category in this case is going to be default category that you see right where I'm pointing the screen at. Now for reasons that I'm not going to get into uh, a lot of details about this, your store you have to in your web store you have to give it directions on which category to use as your main category. Uh, so in this case, in a default installation, the default category is always used as the category that's being used on your store. Now you can easily change it in order for you to change it. All you have to do is to go to system and then click manage stores. Now this kind of give you an understanding of how your website is uh, constructed. And organize so the main uh, website you're going to use the base code and the main website store you're going to use the default category as your root category so what this basically means is I'm going to actually navigate back to category is what this means is when you create categories in your system whether you view them whether whether the customers can view them or not basically depends on whether it's going to be involved in a certain category so for example the main categories for your store has to be inside the main category for the website that you're building in this case it's going to be default category i'm going to show you an example on how you can add a category to the store so like I said, we're going to go with uh, one of the first examples we talked about. We're going to be adding TVs as a main category. So I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add subcategory, give it the necessary information. I'm going to say television just so that it's clearer. And is active is basically stating whether you want this category to be active on the website or non-active on the website so if you are going to have certain categories that you're not going to need for a while rather than deleting them you can deactivate them by clicking no or you can activate them by clicking yes you can give a url key basically this is done for search engine optimization purposes so you can simply put things like televisions for sale and it has to be a, a a URL friendly uh, SEO friendly URL basically meaning no spaces in between so take care of that you can always give a description I can say this is a test and you have other options of adding images adding page titles meta keywords meta descriptions because I want to keep this tutorial short I'm not going to be discussing all of them uh, but most of these items that I'm talking about is used uh, for search engine optimization purposes and it's a good idea and uh, a good practice and uh, for you to follow these details and make sure that you fill each and every one of them because it can only help you and it will never hurt you once you're done with that one of the last things that you can do is whether 
you want to include in the name main navigation of the store uh, so for an instance depending on the theme that you're using you might have a main navigation so the main navigation for the default installation I'm using is done on top like you see here so whether you want to show it there and I would click yes okay and on top you have several options as well so the general information is what we filled right now then you have the display settings custom design and category products we are not going to be touching on everything but just to give you an idea display setting dictates uh, whether you want to display certain things like products or and uh, any static blocks that you want to do so if you do do products only that means when you click on a category it will only show the products in a static block only meaning that category kind of acts like a page where you give the system information uh, an identifier for a static block and static block and a product basically is a combination of the two and you can fill those on that section the custom design dictates what kind of template that you will be using um, so the best thing to do is frankly if you're not really sure about what's going on or whether you have a theme that you're working with the best way to avoid touching this section is to set the controls in the default category and say use parent category settings what this does is the the default category for your store right now is the one that we are using default category right here so if you if you set the styles there then all the subcategories within that will use the same attributes and that would be the best option however there might be instances where you want to deviate with things and if you want to deviate with things you can simply say click no and uh, go ahead uh, with what you want to do and the category product section uh, list out all the kind of products that's listed in those categories I don't have any products added to the system right now so I that's why you don't see anything uh, but that this gives you an understanding of what you need to fill when you're adding a subcategory or a root category general information is the most important thing anything that is required is always dictated by these asterisks that you see right here uh, the display settings the custom design and category products I briefly rushed through them uh, but if you do need more information about what they are and what they need to do, you can always uh, uh, send me an email or give me a call and I'll try and help you guys out as much as I can. All right. So once you're done with filling everything that you need, all you have to do is click Save Category. So now you see what happened. I clicked on the section where it says Root Category. Now remember what I told you first root categories are what's used on the store so in this case we are basically saying in this web store in the site that we are using use anything under default category now for this example however television is a root category so there is a possibility that it will not show and I'm gonna show that to you there you go just as I suspected so the the only categories inside default category is test one which is a, a category that I had created before and that shows right here and the one that we added new doesn't show so the easiest thing you can do is actually this is uh, this acts like a drag and drop option which is a great thing all you have to do is drag and drop televisions under default category and then save it again voila your television is added as a category into your store now now another thing that you can do is you can add subcategories to televisions like I said the sizes or the brands so let's do that let's try something real quick uh, I'm gonna say Samsung let's just brand them by name Samsung TVs because they have different options for Samsung TVs I'm gonna say yes I'm gonna say Samsung TV And I want to include this in the name main navigation I want to use the same options that I set for the default category so that I don't have to touch anything else and once I'm done with that I click Save there you go so Samsung was added under television so we're gonna do another test so we're gonna click television first and then we're gonna say add subcategory 
and this time we are gonna say another brand what would be another good brand for a TV just so that I can get this up and running I'm just gonna say Apple probably not the best option but I am running a blank right now but for this purpose I think we are good to go and once you're done with this click custom design I'm gonna use the same options for as the default category and then I'm gonna say save category there you go so the subcategory for television was added and that is Apple which is what we added right now and we are gonna check that okay so as you can see the subcategory so they're gonna either turn up as drop-down menus as you can see right here so television has Samsung and Apple as subcategories and test one has sub one as subcategories as you can see right here in this uh, in on the screen that I've done so basically this this should give you an understanding of how you can add categories and subcategories to your web store and once you are done with this once you've organized all the categories and subcategories you can move on to how to add products and then you can basically assign those products into the categories or subcategories that you wanted to show so i hope this was helpful guys i was trying to keep it a little short because you know i know you guys have a lot of things to do and not a lot of people like to see longer videos uh, but should you have any questions or you need any help with uh, website design e-commerce solutions uh, search engine optimization you can always get in touch with me my name is don and i am from donwebsolutions.com uh, until next time I bid you guys farewell. I hope you guys have a nice day.